uh, if I ask you what is the structure of control file, what is your answer, Ashok? If the shape of wait chair interviewer. Takan shape Gurto Chin Jap Tak Takan eighty AM under Did you open our control file? The way amount I parameter, yes, file. What next? No, no, that is a text file. You tell me, Sai, you have not practiced? Control file. Say shu. Options. At least, but Takana. Chappanga ne jabte maaku happy. Andi ko agar chhod na thana. Ah, low data. Correct. The whole structure, it should be visible in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. You have not practiced price list. Supplier. Supplier. Yeah, same thing only. I'm asking, right? Control file structure. Okay, fine. Not a problem. Um. No, there is a, another option is there, multi-language. So we'll discuss another point. XML, some more points are there. We are, it is not completed. Only main topics I said. Still bursting, multi-language, multi-template. That mm, e-text, these are all pending is there. I shown you on that day, right? 30 points something. All small, small points only, but we'll cover. So today topic name is another conversion. It will not take much time, okay? Because as you know the process, so you can, I hope you can easily understand. End to end, along with the documentation requirement, everything I'm telling right now. So this is a class number nine, is it 10? <clears throat> class number 10. So hardly 20 classes enough, okay? Main, main classes. Class 10, item cost conversion. This is also a conversion. Supplier, I did not cover that. Okay, I'll cover. Yes. Item cost conversion. Whatever the conversion is, same procedure. Okay. Procedure is what it is. File to staging. Then second one is staging to base table. If you are using open interface approach. Okay, this is actually open interface uh, API approach, sorry. Second method is if there is lesser volume and uh, regularly data coming so at that time, if, in case of less volume, we can go with here open interface approach. Open interface. Both Oracle only will give. API Oracle only will give. And then open interface also Oracle Corporation will give. Where exactly we can see here is you can go to integrated SOVA gateway operations. Okay, screen is visible, right? The rose teachers is even all under the donation out of the nine should be. There. What the Continuous morning is a Um, we can go to integrated SOA gateway. Okay. Now, in this, click on search product family. So, you are talking about inventory, right? So, check where is the inventory available. Procurement, order management, these are all different, different suits. Suit means multiple modules together as colleges, suit it is. Okay, inventory, it comes under supply chain management. So, is it available here? You need to check, okay? If not available, then you can straight away go with the open interface here. And then business entity. So, business entity is what it is, cost. Click on go. Cost center is different here. Okay. Then, yeah, correct. Item cost is different. Okay. Interface name, sorry. Here we have to enter. Uh, we have to enter. Cost. 
<laughs> check item cost related program these are all project accounting related i don't see okay cost import process yes this is the program name okay program name they only given here open interface of course this is called as a standard interface program. Here one stage will be added here. Staging to interface table. Interface table. Okay, then after that, interface tables to base table. The next stage it is. Don't get confused. In case of API approach, only there are two stages in case of API approach. But in case of uh, open interface approach, there are three steps here. Fine. One step will be extra added. And the program name also, I only gathered here, cost import process. Now check what are the base tables behind this. Like if it is not showing here, what we can do? You can go to item cost creation in inventory. You already familiar with this screen, I know, because you've created right the screen costs, item costs. So, in which flow you created? Recall we had a P2P, O2C, ISO, dropshipment, back to back, RMA, right? In which flow we have used cost? Uh, ISO. Okay. In ISO, we created item costs. Mm -hmm. Then V1, new, here, item number we have to give, okay, then cost type, which one I have selected here, pending, correct, pending, okay, so you can take average rates or whatever, so if it is single record or 10 records, 20 records, you can go manually like this, but what we are doing is, we are loading bulk data. That's why this procedure, okay? The purpose of conversion is what it is? Bulk data loading, okay? Now, base tables, from where you can get to know? Costs, material, sub-element, material, rate, 5,000. Now, I, I want to see the table behind this. That's why I entered the sample data. For any conversion, you have to enter a sample data. They, they, you can come to know what fields are mandatory. So, this is a base table. CST, item cost details. Okay? That's about the base table. But we don't know interface table name yet, right? So is there any table available with the CST item cost? You can check in FND tables where table name like CST item cost. Interface table I am finding out. Actually, it will be available into user guides. User guides, I'll tell you from where you can download. After this, I'll show you user guides. Do you see any interface related table? Yes. Correct. So this is the table name. You need to remember all these tables, programs, names, mandatory. Interface table is what it is? This one. CST, item cost details, interface. CST means cost. And base table is CST, item cost details. And if you want to transfer data from this table to this table, we have to use Cost import process. And from file to staging, how you transfer? File to staging, how you transfer through control file. Okay. So are you okay? Now this overview. Now let's see the document. So the document here is uh, DTS means detailed technical specification. Detailed technical specification. This is some clients will follow their own methodology. Okay. Click on this. 
So the client name here, I, I need to explain this document. It will take more than 20 minutes. Okay. We'll see. This is the way you'll get a requirement in the company. Uh, first is These are all common things. Okay, this, who will give these subheadings is Oracle only will give. If you don't use this, let's say the, this option is not required, you can delete also. It is a standard template actually from Oracle. Headings also they only will give. Okay, now first section here is this you have to fill it up. Once you finish this conversion document, actually this is after finishing your object, you need to fill this. That's why it is a detailed technical specification, DTS means. So you are working for a project. AGIS is a project. Okay. And then AGIS Melrose Park. This is the entire client it is. Earlier I used to take example as a Dell like that HBO, right? This is the client. AGIS Melrose Park is a client. Rollout. Rollout means they have already implemented for one country. Your company is available in China, America, Dubai. Okay. Dubai, they already finished it. By simple changes, country changes, currency changes, same code, they will use it for America also. So that is called as a rollout. Okay. Rollout means if a company is having multiple branches, multiple operating units, then that comes under rollout it is with small minimal changes we have to do same code we cannot utilize for america and abu dhabi okay because currency changes calendar changes time zone changes functional currency changes will be there that's why rollout this project is called a rollout see how many types of projects in a, in a company that is also you need to note down uh, rollout is i told you already then implementation project implementation means if your client is using already some other third party software, freshly they are buying Oracle app software. At that time, actually, all third party data we have to keep into Oracle apps. That's called as an implementation. And upgradation. Upgradation means your client is already purchased this Oracle apps. They have used it for 10 years. Then they want to go with a newer version. So that is called as a upgradation. So rollout, implementation, upgradation and support support means they already implemented on a runtime basis actually they want to they need your support to add some columns to add some functionality changes to remove the whatever they wanted so that is called as a support support also we have a post production support and then full production support So post-production support means here, whenever, whenever you implement Oracle applications, okay, for one year or six months or three months, they will give a license support. We'll call it a license support. Only few days, few months we can say. Then after that, they, they will not give any support. Then production support means it will go years and years. This is only just few months. This is few years we can say. So these many types of projects. That's why if you open any resume in, in your case also, you will have implementation project, support project, upgradation project, rollout project like that. Are you okay with all four terminology? Now, project. This is a project again, same. Project type is migration. Okay, this is a checkbox here. Migration also, Sim more or similar to Little slight variation will be there. Migration, like uh, already lower version to higher version also you can consider as a migration. Now, technical design, this is the name of the file. Whatever your file is there right here. DTS, SPC. This file name only I mentioned here. Now, development type. So, this, this object actually we are newly developing. It is not already there. Now, fix means some code changes 
and change. Okay. Fix little code changes. Change means the functionality also they will change. Now migration, migrate, migration, the item cost data from radius ERP to Oracle. Yeah. Now the point you need to remember here is your client, they have used one software as of now. Okay. The, the software name is called as radius ERP. In the organizations, in the industry, there may be more than 300 ERPs are available. Can you mention one or two ERPs, whatever, other than Oracle Apps? Ashok? SAP. Any other? Huh? Cvox. Cvox. Uh, next. Microsoft Dynamics, have you heard? Hi. Tally, have you heard? Tally. In your college days, Tally. Right. That is also ERP. So, likewise. So, from third party to, or not only ERPs, okay? Whatever the software. POS. Right. Yes, POS also. So, now, in, in our example, what we take in here is, radius ERP to Oracle Apps, we are migrating a data. That is called as a conversion here. So, are you okay with this? This line? Now, reference document. Cost conversion mapping. Mapping means what is the column name in third party and what is into into which column we have to load into Oracle Apps. That's called as a column mapping. So you just see this. These are all columns. Field transaction date we are getting. The transaction date we are loading into inventory transaction date. And organization code we are getting. That organization code sample data is MPK. And that is available into column name is organization code. And table name is ORG organization. Yesterday also we typed right this. Inventory organizations we can see into org organization definitions. This is the inventory table it is. Clear? So every field you should know the column name, table name. Then only you can easily load the data. Otherwise, it's very difficult. Now, second adjustment account. So adjustment account, it is all accounts. These type of accounts, we'll call it as a KFF, key flex field. It is stored into final table that is GL code combinations. Around 30 segments will, will be there. But in this case, they are using 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, in Oracle Apps, we have used 5. But here it is 7 segments. There is no restriction. They may use 30 segments also based on the business it is. Okay. Flexible fields. These are all flex fields means flexible fields. Now, this one, segment one column. That is on hand cost test. It will be available. Item number is available into, you know, right already. So it's a basic step, right? MTL system items B. And cost will be available. So this is a cost and that is the average cost. That's why it is 0 0.00231. They will do calculation here. <laughs> and reference field is whenever you are loading data, this data is belongs to one particular day actually that on go live date we have loaded this day. So simply for reference actually, this is the data we'll get. I'll show you the file. This is the file, CSV file. This data. Now tell me by seeing all this. The transaction date means your inventory transaction date. Organization code is stored into which table? Org organization definitions. Adjustment accounts. GL code combinations. Segment one. Item. item MTS is not as B. And cost. It's average cost formula we have given. This is just a reference field. Whatever you want you can. You can give today. Today name, this data also we can give. This data we are loading. So here I mentioned only six, seven records, but in the organization, you may see 20,000 records, 30,000 records like that. The whole data will move. Thank you. MPK is the client here. Melrose Park. I showed you right just before. That short, short name it is. This Melrose Park. Okay, if you are working for Dell project, Dell is a short name, like that it is. 
go live means like they are whenever they are loading all the final data that is called as a go live date. Okay, go go to the document. So as of now, what we discussed, bullet points, you'll be able to tell me. For which client you are working? Client name. Next is from third party to Oracle apps we are loading. What was the third party name? Radius software. Okay. What type of the project it is? Rollout project. What next? Mapping document. What is mapping document? Column name, third party column name, or a collapse column name. So we cannot load a column value into another wrong column. So that column mapping usually functional consultant will do. That is not our responsibility. But still, we also need to involve. If we wrongly load, that will be a problem for your entire team. Anything else we missed? Okay, it's a new document. So in this, we discuss about four five points. You are okay. I know that. Now, next, you read this. Till here, read this two, three times. Let me know. Whatever, mm -hmm. what is your understanding? <clears throat> over so now tell me anyone one person can tell me online guys what you study tell me correct data is from that radius software correct we need to load. Correct. Right. That process I'm expecting. Yes. Tell me. Hmm. Okay. Right. Interface table name. CST cost details interface. Online guys, like, can you tell me program name, standard program name? Guys, are you there? Rollout. Program name? Rollout. Rollout is a project type, but I am asking the program name. So this is the, in interview also, if someone asks you, explain about cost conversion, these steps only we have to tell. Yeah. Same, same steps as it is. See, as part of, again, I'll explain you quickly. As part of AZIS. See, AZIS is a client, okay? No need to worry about this keyword. AZIS, Melrose Park. That entire is a client name. As part of the AJS data migration, 
item costs needs to be created in oracle oracle means oracle apps for melrose park okay so it is a ajs is a client and this is a division we can say melrose park is a division the source data for the instance creation will be radius so from which source you are getting a data is radius erp that is a third party we'll call it as a, let's say in other words we'll call it as a legacy system also okay legacy system these are all the terminals you need to remember legacy system or old system or third party system okay these are all common terminology people will use now custom item cost conversion program why custom we are saying because it is not given by oracle we only developing that's why i mentioned here somewhere it's a correct new development now it will be created to create the item cost in oracle oracle better erp or oracle ebs e business suit it is now first step here is load data into custom staging table the custom program this is the name of the program you have given so now you should not give my name or your name the program name is there already uh, it is created loading data into staging table using sql order so the table name also like this only now go to toad uh, sorry here first is what it is staging table name so this is the table script so these are all permissions grant permissions to the another environment so this table we have to take it is that the same table here spc asg inventory item cost staging spc asg inventory item cost take this this is the first step right as per our flow go to toad simultaneously i'll create also okay it's already there sorry this is the table uh, if you want to use this client name okay missing or invalid the semicolon is a problem name already exists then we don't have alternative we have to give here client name i'm giving here melrose okay mr i'll give mr is a melrose clear table is created now come to our notepad word document Uh, your table is ready yeah column names so column names like as per your uh, this excel sheet is the one reference and second see if you open this excel sheet transaction data organization code adjustment these are all right so you see once excel sheet this one and in the same way staging table so first column is what it is transaction date second column organization code got it and third column adjustment account and fourth item number cost reference so item number is what it is we should not use item number it's a segment one right and then cost reference and some additional columns you have to include right one is record status why record status is required whether it is loaded or not loaded we should track the next is what error description and these are all order who columns correct so how you created this uh, table is based on reference of your input file and one more also there that is your base table is there right here base table in this base table also you can take all the columns so just simply what you can do f4 here is a place script you can use table script copy paste it may take five minutes for time because you need to refer right all the columns so 
script. Okay, here is the place. What columns you wanted out of all this? There are 60, 70 columns are there, right? 50 column, 57 columns are there. Uh, which column you wanted? You wanted uh, organization. Okay. Then what next? Check. Yeah. Anything else one by one? You need to refer all this. Yeah. Got it. And what type of the data type it is that you have to check. Next, request ID also is required. Render site ID. Yeah, that is later we can do it. Now, these two columns. Next is your cost type ID. Cost type ID we can derive later, but right now I'm not taking. So, this is the way actually. You can use two references. One reference is your input Excel file. Other reference is base table. Base table or interface table also fine. One minute. Interface table is better. Instead of base table, interface table is better. Actual columns you can get. Okay. Um, I'm using SQL star plus. This one. It's easy actually. DESC, and you can use this. <clears throat> you can copy whatever you wanted. Yes, every column we can copy, but uh, this many we don't require, right? We can copy individually column names like this. Data type not it will not come, so only we can copy like this. That is the advantage of SQL surplus. Got it. So the same cost type ID, inventory item ID, is who columns, whatever you go one by one item cost. Okay. And, and, and another one is item number is stored into inventory item. It is clear. So the high level point you have to remember is you can prepare your staging table script based on your input Excel file, other one is interface table. Is that clear? Now, now next is what it is. Load data into interface table. Okay, this we have to register as a program also. For this control file is required. Control file also simultaneously I'll show you. Anyway, it is not new for you, control file. What is the structure of control file if I ask you again? Okay. This is the structure. Options, keep is equal to one. Load okay. data, in file, append into your table name, all this. So these are all, you've already seen. And these columns are already there. From where I copied all these columns? Staging okay. table, staging table. Clear, control file. So what I need to do? Just save this. Yeah. Instead of SPC, I'm just keeping Melrose. And I need to register as a program, correct? Right, table name is required. Correct, right. So, which program name I need to use? This, this is the name of the program. Actually, it is already if if you register the program with which name you have registered, the same only you have to copy and paste here. But right now, I am telling in a reverse way. Okay, go to server. See, simultaneously, I'm loading. You are dealing up with the inventory module. Okay. Good.
file system one we have to go inventory i need to keep file into bin directory so this is the directory copy this into this file we have to move into this directory okay so five is sorry price list it is Same file I'm keeping here also, input file also. This one, right? So whenever you move it, you have to give a read write executable. See, all other files, X also is there. X means executable. Or straight away you can enter here, 777. That is also fine. Okay. Now what next? Restart as a program, correct? Go to system administrator. Inventory module. Here, SQL, loader. Define. So for that definition, what you can do, you use this program name, this program name. Because that is visible to user, right? But attaching executable is fine, like this. The program name, short name, you can use whatever, like this. So maintain the spaces, not underscores, because this program is visible to user. Short name is not visible, executable name is not visible. So if you keep underscore also, nothing will happen. Inventory, parameters. So we have to give here file path 240 characters constant your directory name this is the directory name put slash at the end like this save what is the program name for inventory i don't know if you don't know any program name, uh, any request group name, you can go to define. All inclusive GUI. For order management, do you remember now? OM concurrent programs. For payables, like that it is. In the company, it will vary. Okay, you need to identify that first. You should not attach your wrong group. If a program is not appearing in a responsibility, you have to attach so, all inclusive, right? Graphical user interface, inventory. Save. Inventory. File name. File name is this one. If you feel MR, right? Melrose. Along with the extension, guys. Otherwise, you do not be able to recognize. File name I'm just giving. Extension is also CSV is needed. File permissions. Okay. File permissions also not given. Okay. Good point. Triple seven. Okay. Before submitting, uh, we already in a way submitted. Copy this. Not yet loaded. Check. 
the data is loaded. Okay. So whatever the items are there, right? Triple four, triple one, P2, P2, two, two, three, six. These are all, it must exist in inventory. Otherwise, all going to return as an error. These are all existing items. If not there, what you can do? You can go to inventory module, uh, item masters, here, items, master items, V1, save. Your template is really required, correct? Finished goods, apply. Done. How about the next records? Two to three eight. I given another template. Let's see what will happen. Okay. Now, first step, this step is over. Stage one is completed. Stage two is what it is, load data into interface table. So for this, the custom program is created for loading data into interface table. Okay, this, this one I am talking about here. As of now, file to staging is over. Now staging to interface, later interface to base table. Staging to interface table itself, it will have all the validations, insertion program. Uh, we need to discuss about the package over here. Now, go here. Custom PLS skill procedure or package is developed to validate the data into the staging table. And on successful validation, the validation records are inserted or updated to the interface table. Okay, if, uh, if it is already there, it will update. If not there, it will insert it. And this is the interface table using the above conversion program. So is it clear now? What we are doing here in, in this entire paragraph? This is the main thing. While into interface table, clear. Okay, so we'll see this program uh, stage now. Just go to package. Okay, specification first. <clears throat> See, this history is required for who has developed, when it was developed, all this. Uh, procedure name, error buff red code. Why these two mandatory? We are calling from Oracle Apps. That's why these two are mandatory. And arg ID, inventory which organization we are loading, through which user you are submitting. Who is the user is submitting this? There will be n number of users in the company, right? So who is submitting this program? V user is a variable user. Or parameter you can use. P username or P ID, like that, whatever. Now go to body. <coughs> Open with the notepad plus plus. And then you can use here language. Okay, languages. Oracle SQL. Or so that keywords will be highlighted. That's the advantage. Okay. Now come here. This procedure, SPC is the item cost conversion procedure. These two parameters we already discussed. <laughs> cursor name. Cursor. Cursor name is select statement. See, select all the columns we selected. Why, instead of star y, I, I have selected all the columns here is, I took a row ID, I took a sub str here. You know, right, sub str, substring length function, what it will do. Okay, any spaces and all, it will remove here. So, now next is, 
record status, record description from this particular table. So this table is you have to make sure mail rows. Okay. Record status is null we are taking. Fresh record. And organization code, whatever you are taking, that must be available into org organization definitions. Whatever v org you are giving, right? 204, 207, like that. So it will give a arg code. What is this actually? This is called as a subquery. Query within a query is called as a subquery. Okay. Now cursor to get the error data. Conversion program we may run repetitively also. Morning, evening, or next day like that. So whenever you are loading, error data also we have to pick it up. Error data we should not ignore it. That's why another cursor I am taking. Two cursors. One cursor is record status is null means new record. Second cursor is what is record status is E. E means error out. Why this cursor came into the picture is second time whenever you are loading, the errors also we have to process it after rectification. That's why two cursors. Are you okay with these two cursors? Now next is cast type. In my example, I took a pending, but in this example, they took it as an average. Cast type where you have seen. Do you still see that? Go to, yeah, correct. There will be a little calculation. Costs, item costs. Here, uh, cost type. Here is a place. There are so many, right? Pending also. You can take pending also. In the company, it will vary, okay? Now, getting user ID. User ID, why it is required? With which user you are submitting. So, if I am giving my name, my name must be there in the system. Otherwise, it will not access. So this is called as anonymous block. If you want to put it, FND file put line you can use. DBMS is just to toast, test in the toad. DBMS, it will not work in application. You have to use FND file dot put line. Okay. If something goes wrong, FND file dot put line, you can use it. User is not set up. So, you can change this later. Or, okay. Anyway, I have given here. Okay. Validating cost type. Other than pending, other than average, other than frozen, if something else comes into the picture, you have to check into the base table. Other than base table, if any other record comes, that is the error only. Clear? Uh, this type of validation yesterday also we have seen. Simply select statement and exception block. If something goes wrong, there are two flags will be there, error flag, error description. Now, what next? For loop I introduced. Major for loop. And organization I commented it. That's okay. Validating the item and fetching the inventory item. Item, whatever we are getting. See, if you look at here, base table. In a base table, Sorry, excuse me, wrong it is, okay. Inventory item ID, is there any segment one here? Not there. Finally, in the final base table, if you want to give you an inventory item ID, you have to derive it. Okay, but what is the input you got here is? Right. In the input you got here is item. Is there an inventory item ID here? No. But inventory item ID, how to derive based on this input? So you have to derive through select statement here. The derivation is here. See, you are deriving inventory item ID from MTL system items B. The segment one is coming through cursor here. This is what it is. CU means cursor it is. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now this decode is required, right? Decode. Why decode is required is if you just go to inventory item create uh, item window okay this flag is the right here you have to check here whether it is checked or not checked how to identify it is by using a decode see decode of decode is what if then else logic only decode and case these are all if then else logic only okay Decode of inventory flag is Y. It will return a number one. 
if it is not checked, it will return a number to else null value. Decode, yeah, if then else logic it is. Decode means if then else logic. What is the use of this decode command? To check the flag is enabled or not. If it is not enabled, we can enable also. Guys, please go on meet. Since when no data found, common only. Now, validating error out records for which cast flag is set to no. Definitely, we need to enable this casting enabled. Okay. Here, what we are doing is if cast flag is n, that means not checked, then we are making it as an error. This portion. So, just above, I made a description here to make you understand. Clear? In the same way, expense item. Expense item where it is? Inventory asset value. Check somewhere expense item. Uh, inventory. You have to put inventory tab. It will give. Inventory asset flag it is. Okay, asset flag. Anyway, there only it is there. Asset flag. We are checking two checkboxes. One is cost flag. Other one is inventory asset flag. Flag means yes or no, guys. Then after that, finally, we are inserting into CST item cost details interface. Only single table. Single interface table. All the values. Insert plain insert it. See? Insert into table name values. And some values are variable. Some values are sysdates. What is the sysdate? Just go up. Sysdate is what it is. Last update date is a sysdate. Creation date is a sysdate. And some values are hard-coded also. Material is hard-coded. What is this material? Material. We already see. Yes, type it is correct. If you go to... Costs, item costs. Yes, please go on mute. See, how people are behaving. Okay, this material I'm talking about. Straight away, I'm hard coding here. Material, clear? The same as sub-material also. What is that column name? Sub-element. Element and sub-element. So the rest is, these are all two, one values it is. Just go up. Flags. Inventory asset flag. Based on roll of flag. What is meant by one? Two, right, two, no, correct? If you make it one, it will check from back end. Then finally, what we are doing, update the staging table with the error. If something goes wrong, if it is not there, then we are making it as a plain update statement. It is update, table name, set, and the value. And finally, we are getting the error details in the output. So how to do it is fnd file at full time. This yesterday also we have seen. Over. What is the entire 350 line summary? Tell me. Don't see the number of lines, okay? See what are the important points. It will be 10,000 lines also, doesn't matter. Bullet points, huh? For all, see if it is a huge data. 70,000 uh, data, 2 lakhs data at that time for all statement, PL SQL table type. We can use. These are all just for 10,000, 5,000, we can use normal cursor. Data volume is huge. Like if you are working for Amazon, Flipkart, or any other bigger, very bigger clients, then you can go with the, that also will see record type. <coughs> Overall, what is the summary here? Quickly, I'll go, okay? Uh, we took two cursors. One cursor is for 
new data. Second cursor is for error data. Then after that, uh, we took uh, username validation. You should use FND user and user ID always. Cast types, whatever the input you are giving, that cast type must be available into CST cast types. And uh, what next? Decode, we have used it, decode somewhere. Decode is for to set up a value for enabling, disabling any flags. And we derived inventory item ID because inventory item ID is not there. Your base table is expecting inventory item ID or in, uh, interface table is expecting inventory item ID. We derived based on the segment one here. Derived means just taking into selection. That's called the derivation. And we, ha we have checked flags are enabled or not. And finally, we inserted into interface table. If process flag is other than yes, what we are doing? Right, exactly, error. This is an error table. And error table we are printing into output here. Actually, hardly five, six points are there here. Clear? Uh, now what I have to do here is, this we have to compile it. Yes. We are registering right now, yes. Just staging table. mistake in the sorry, Miru, staging table, much both right now. Marched up. Marched up, much error is invalid identifier under the. Chudali, line by line, oka, oka, rose and the middle good one. After my problem. Huh? Notepad Lona? Uh, under the current touch on it. What is it? The other than the Excel Cocola under that. Anything else we need to modify here? See, inside uh, procedure, I'm not changing. Only outside. Okay. Body specification, we'll do it. This inside I am not modifying. That's what I am saying because it is which is hidden inside. Copy. So if you see the document, still we are in the second stage only. So as of now, I discussed only five pages. The rest is twenty. You can I can scroll in two three minutes. I can tell you all this. F5, package specification created. Next is body. Use instead of SQL style, we have to use BLSQL style. Make sure, double check here what you are doing. F5. Package body created. So we have to register as a program. For registering, what you need to do? Mention package name dot procedure name. Otherwise, it will not be able to pick it up. If you simply put a package name also, it will act as an infinite loop. Then it will not work properly. Go to. Right now, I am registering a PLSQL stored procedure. Earlier, I registered SQL loader. How many types of Methods are there. These are all Oracle report, stored procedure, Java concurrent program. We have used for Unix, you can use host method. There are few more also. SQL order we have seen already. Parallel span, and I never used even stage functions. These some DBS also people will use. Oracle, Oracle apps DBS. I need to use this stored procedure. 
here. Inventory. Here is the place. Package name dot procedure. Remember, there are two parameters here. You should not forget these two parameters. Save. Inventory. Parameters. First parameter, arg ID. Okay. Arg ID. Value set, you have to give a value set. I'm just giving a 10 by number and constant. So I'm using here for vision operations, 204 I'm giving and required parameter. Second parameter, username. So username also value set we have to create, but I'm not sure right now. I'm using some characters, constant. Operations user. If you are submitting from your user, you can use your user. Okay. Make sure spelling mistakes and all should not be there. Take this program. Go to uh, security responsibility request. I hope still you remember request all inclusive GY. This automatically will come because I already gave it default values. Right. So second stage is also over. Error, check what is the error. Line number one. Uh, invalid row ID. It is giving error also, login ID. Somewhere, some typo issues here, okay? User ID is picking, cast type ID is also picking. Check. Line number 297. Control G, 297. Nothing is there, right? 297. Invalid row ID. Row ID where you have taken. The cursors only be taken, right? Row ID. Correct? Yeah, this one, right? Oh my God, we have not changed.
it's you can check view log these are all we printed here item ids these are all followed records check into view output item cost import error report why error report is whatever the item see items we have not created we took it but we have not created only one or two only we created now final step here is what it is this is a final step run the standard import program that is a cost import process to load the records from interface tables first of all how many tables are how many records are there in this i think one or two right no no we created item right one or two Hmm. Two records will be there. Check. For all four records. Creation date. What day is today? Five. Right. These three records. One manual I created. Correct. Okay. Finally, I am just submitting another program. Program name? Cost import process. Let it be all. Cost type, which one I have taken? Average rates. So this is how we can load at the cost. We can load the costs. Program is completed normal. Check staging table or interface table. Any, yeah, it is mode is created. Yeah. It's a new record, right? How about staging table? We have an error flag error message. We don't have this many columns in it, right? My user Vartanar Yavro. Tell me what is it? Hmm. Yeah, this is correct, right? Okay. So this is the way errors we updated. Yes means here, success. E means error, okay? And finally, base table is there, right? We already noted down. Base table is what it is. Okay. This is the base table. Check the data in the base table. Minimum sense lay there like a
okay so check based on a creation date is there any new record created here yes these are all records okay we successfully loaded item costs Our records and now check the the rest of the process flow nothing is uh, all i mentioned a program names here your ddl script if you click on this whatever the staging table script is there right you keep it here so how to keep it here somewhere you can check insert you can check here insert object object you have to keep the file this file is in the same way your package name procedure name how many what is the short name application name method the entire in last one hour whatever we did we have to keep it here the rest of the document is same item units are you loading if not loading you can use null here then That's it over document. Okay. So what is the summary of summary of this document is the entire process, file to staging, staging to interface, how many executables we have used, what is, are there any dependencies? Incompatible, I'll tell you later. The whole parameters. There are two parameters, right? R code, username, and username we derived from FND user. R code we derived from ORG organization definitions. The entire summary you have to keep it here. That's it. Hmm? Brief ga chapala. Can be jaypa ya? Okay. So, this document lo mano enjoy so na mo intawar kante mano intawar enjoy shan jaypo. Since last one hour what we did? Hmm. You tell me here this what we are doing here. Concurrent program name. See. Program name, short name, application name is here, inventory. Okay. Executable name is whatever you created here. Just go here and copy paste. Method is SQL order. Are you okay with this? Now next is validate the load into interface table. This is second program registration. And here definition of temporary table temporary table here it's a staging table not a temporary or whatever staging will call it is staging table how many columns are there transaction date organization code and its data types these are all from where you collected all this staging table script here now mapping i already told you right staging table and interface table this target table name data type source field column name like that now process description where you kept your file into which directory so the data file will be available into some directory in the in their application but in our case what we did we kept here only copy this we kept into this direct next line uh, staging table structure is mentioned where we mentioned already in the just if you go up correct type temporary table description now the program contains few concurrent three concurrent programs so what are the three concurrent programs one concurrent program is for sql order other concurrent program is for package third one is item cost process standard program yes Anything else? Program logic. This section describes the process, validation, error handling, and pseudocode for the pseudocode most brief points here. Okay. First program, what we did here is it will be created for SQL order to load the 
డాక్యుమెంట్ అంతా అంతే ఫైల్ టు స్టేజింగ్ స్టేజింగ్ టు ఇంటర్ఫేస్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ టు ఫేస్ ఓకే ఎనీ కన్ఫ్యూజన్ రీడ్ ఎవ్రీ లైన్ యూ కెన్ కమ్ టు నో సి ఇయర్ కాల్ టు ఎస్క్యూఎల్ ఆర్డర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ దాట్ విల్ బి క్రియేటెడ్ టు లోడ్ ద డేటా ఫైల్ ఇన్ టు స్టేజింగ్ టేబుల్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద పారామీటర్ డేటా ఫైల్ ఫర్ ఫస్ట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ వాట్ వీ డిడ్ here is a place this is what it is data file so this entire yellow color one is based on the parameter data file so data file parameter we gave here view details this is the data file parameter now second one is what it is the control file is used to create the above sql order program the control file will create a log files and bad files bad file you know because of data type mismatches bad file it will create right now there is no data type mismatch then in the pl sql package we have validated some columns what are they user validation organization validation cost type validation same thing only i mentioned here just i copied and pasted the entire statement here this decode have you seen do you remember decode same okay so don't spend much time on this document no you need to prepare you are a developer right see um, whatever we did since last one hour that you have to document it that's it detailed document it is for documentation they will give 2 3 days okay so item cost conversion is over you please practice today price list item cost and supplier these are all the three you focus on it then you can easily work anywhere that is for interface we'll discuss interface and uh, documented is interface related and report related document 